Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I'm going to talk about the year of 2021 for the sign of Capricorn. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Capricorn, then please keep watching this video. We just had an insane year, 2020, and we might think that this crazy year is over and next year it's going to be <laughs> all roses well i'm gonna tell you that it's not going to be a bad year it's going to be a transformational year in 2021 it's really a step closer to where we want to be on a worldly level and where we would like to be on a personal level so um, in January, we're going to have a new moon in your sign in Capricorn. And what makes this new moon major is that it is conjuncting Pluto, the planet of transformation, of everything hidden coming to the surface, you know? So there might be some solution coming, but there's also some darkness coming up, you know? And... Um, you know, on a personal level, this could be that, you know, it's in your first house, so your self-image. So there might be something that, you know, you've kind of been, you kind of been tucked away that you don't want to see anything related to your self-image. So something will be transformed and will be shown to you so you can move on and take the lead in your life because it might be that lately you were a bit afraid to take to go head first to understand that you are your own personality and you deserve to go head first in your own life and take the first step and a lot of times you were doubting yourself am i good enough so this negative voice within you these unconscious or maybe conscious feelings that you've been burying about yourself they come to the surface and it is time to process them and put them into the light so you can guide others you can guide yourself because when you keep having these doubts it's really hard to take a step forward you know, and you have this whole bunch of Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto in your first house. Now you have your new moon there. So it's really like, have you learned the lesson of planting a seed? Have you learned the lesson that you are an amazing individual uh, being? So it's time to transform yourself into the person who you want to be on this planet. How would you like to present yourself to the world? And what skin are you comfortable in? You know, you have to be comfortable in your own skin. It's the first step to take before we can go through the whole round of all the houses of astrology. That's why, you know, first house related to Aries. And uh, when we talk about Aries, for you, that's in your fourth house. So this has to do with your roots. So anything that's coming up, a little bit dark, a little bit dirty. It has to, uh, it, it derives from your family. So your, you know, your way of grounding, the way you see life, the way you were brought up. So, you know, there's a big part of you that has to work on this root chakra if still these negative feelings are coming up. And, you know, when you're ready, you're ready to go far because where Capricorn puts his or her mind into <laughs> you're gonna go for it you know there's no one who can stop you if you have a goal that's it you know you're gonna pursue it and you're gonna get there and there's no doubt about it so really it's now about trusting that you can be there and knowing how to uh, position yourself you know how to position yourself in your life and to be confident enough to take that step that you're willing to make you know, and then we have Saturn and Jupiter moving into your second house in Aquarius. So Aquarius is really the sign of freedom, of intellect. And when Saturn is going into your second house, you know, you first put down your self-image. This is how I want to be seen. This is how I see myself. This is how I'm comfortable. And in the second house, it's like, okay, so how much are you worth? 
how much are you worth? You know, you're putting yourself out there. So how much are you going to charge in your business? How much value do you put on yourself in relationships? You only deserve the best. And if you think you can settle for less, then Saturn is saying, "Uh uh-huh, no. You're not going to settle for less. You're going to settle for what you deserve, you know? And Aquarius is going to intellectualize it. It's going to be like, yeah, but I saw the research and it said, you know, you should settle for this and that and that. No, no, no. Saturn is saying you deserve the best. So if you don't see it, I'm going to give you the lessons that make you realize that you deserve the best. So most likely you're going to work a lot for a little money until you get so frustrated that it's like, I deserve better. And this anger is getting you into where you need to be. So, and then we have Jupiter, you know, I'm not forgetting that. It's also moving into Aquarius. So it's really expanding the way you see money, your possessions. So they will expand. They will. So if you take on the lessons of of hard work and sell value quicker, because honestly, it's not all about hard work to earn money, but Saturn is usually making you do that for a bit to understand that, you know, you are worth it. You can do it. And sometimes uh, you can have so much fun into doing something that you love. That's why it's so important to integrate this life purpose, this Um, you know, I love doing this. This is how I want to make my money. That was the first house telling you, like you have to look at your own individuality and distance yourself from everyone for a little bit. So you can position yourself as the person you would like to see yourself as, as your ideal version, you know, and it, it's not the ideal version of your parents. It's not the ideal version of your partner, of anyone else. It's the ideal version of how you want to see yourself. So this is important, you know, first house, second house, very related to you on your own. So this is the individual part of the chart. You know, when we go from seven to 12, it's all about everyone else, but this is about you. And you know, then we're having a square most of the year. So this is a transit I picked with Uranus. So Uranus in the fifth house, squaring Saturn in the set in the second. So what does this mean? This is like fifth houses, children, creativity, um, romance. So, you know, again, it's going to challenge you like, you know, your self value and self worthiness regarding to romance. What is the price tag you put on yourself? And it doesn't mean that you have to be super annoying or arrogant. No, this is, I love myself so much that I know I deserve the best and I will only settle for the best, you know? So maybe, You know, this is not a challenge of making someone that's not ready for a relationship ready. This is looking at the good people and making it work and know that you deserve a good person. Because a lot of times people chase their bad ones because they they think they don't deserve better. It comes from their own self-value. So there might be several people coming in and out that are really making you struggle with this feeling of, am I good enough? You know, and it's even, for example, if you have children, they might challenge you on your own creativity. And you're like, wow, my children, I learned so much from them because they honestly know what to do naturally. And maybe as an adult, you forgot to be a child. You you forgot to live through your inner child. So they're going to awaken that within you. And sometimes, you know, try not to be angry with them for showing you the side. Because if you're annoyed and you're like, okay, that's, you know, they're so naturally ingrained into their habits, into what they love doing. And this is where you have to go back to, you know, like life is Oh, it's not only about career and your career will take off when you know what you need, what you love to do. So um, the best months for career Capricorn is April till end of June 2021 and September until the end of October. So honestly, of course, this is a general reading, 
but I always say if the energy is out there, it's just for you to receive it. So put your focus into that and it comes back to you. And the same with love. Love uh, is great for you from April till the end of July. And let's get you some cards on love because we do want to know that Capricorn. <laughs> love, love, love in 2021. Okay. So, okay. So I do remember, I think we talk about it in, in the last reading. Yeah. Wow. This is major. So what did I say? Love yourself first. This is a very important subject. So even though there is someone coming in your life as a single or, you know, you are in a relationship and you're having some problems, this is the love, the self-love that needs to be strong. You know, love yourself the way you've never done before. And then, you see, retreat. Take a rest, either with your partner or alone. And I'm having a past life relationship. So if someone new is coming in, it's a past life relationship, most likely, or someone from your past. So there will be some instant connection with this person and there will be some lessons that need to be learned. Um, and there's a big chance that it's going to work out honeymoon, honeymoon. So this is again, how, how far are you with your self value? If you meet someone and they don't treat you well, you don't deserve. But if you worked on this self image, this self love, this relationship can go to the next level. So it really is up to you. Like, what are you looking for? You have an opportunity to get something deeper, to go into, deeper into a relationship with someone. And also, if you're already in a relationship, you're going to commit to a higher level. Yeah, but definitely, I would say this year is more focused on career, self-love, you as an individual, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So be honest, and honestly, this is what I feel, be honest with yourself. What do you really, really want, Capricorn? And, you know, unrequited love, I feel that in the past, you had situations where love wasn't mutual. And, you know, this story is repeating and coming back to you right now. So maybe that's why now this past life relationship and this person is coming back to trigger this feeling within you. So then you go focus on your self-love and self-worth. And then your finances and career are related to this self-worth, you know? So this is related to the self-worth of this situation with this person and or persons because with Uranus in the fifth house, there is a possibility that you meet someone much older, much younger, but also, you know, there might be some unexpected romances. Give your relationship a chance. So look at it from a distance. And, you know, also I see, you see, I see someone turning away. That's what I feel like. Um, sometimes you don't give things a chance. And this also has to do with a lack of self-love. So if you meet someone kind and friendly, you might be unattractive to this person at first but it might grow into something much more than you think and why are you attracted to people that are not good for you is because you think you're not good enough you know so you you go for bad girls boys men women you know and it's time that you understand that you deserve so much more um Capricorn. So we still have the nodes uh, in your sixth house is your north node and south node in the 12th. So really it's still about routines and, you know, getting out of the place of solitude into a place of where, how can I use my individuality at work? Uh, how can I um, express myself best? And soon 
uh, at the end, well, not soon, at the end of 2021, the nodes are shifting. So your north node is shifting into the fifth house, again, of romance. And the south node is in the 11th house, so friendships. So this is really your friends are enhan enhancing your creativity or this romance that we're talking about is coming from your friend group. You know, it's maybe someone you haven't thought about because you overlooked it. So rest and rejuvenate. So make sure that you don't overwork yourself during the year of 2021 because, you know, once your goals are set and you want to go for it, you can turn into a little bit, I don't want to name it workaholic, but... I'm just gonna name it workaholic. So make sure you rest. Yeah, like I said, accelerated motion. Like once you set your goals and things are going, you're gonna go for it, Capricorn. And it's gonna, it's gonna be fast. <laughs> and look at the truth, the truth of yourself, because this is the biggest struggle lately. It's like to admit that maybe the things you attract is because of an imbalance within yourself, you know? And um, yeah. Like, you deserve the best. You deserve more than the best, Capricorn. And once this is a realization that will come to you, you will attract so many more things. You see? Sacrifice. And, you know, I don't say you need to sacrifice. I actually feel that you sometimes feel like you have to sacrifice something to get what you want. The medal is coming to you when you sacrifice this, that, and that. Why can't you just have it? Why can't you just believe that you deserve anything you want? You deserve it. And once you feel that you deserve it, you will get it. And it's out there for you. So you have to break the pattern of not deserving. Because you do deserve. You deserve all the love you want. All the good work you want. Everything. Everything. And I'm here to tell you that. So uh, just to close it down, I want to have like a card um, that's presenting to you a gemstone that maybe you can buy or you can use to enhance your um, to enhance your year of 2021. So we have Angel of Balanced Emotions, you know, Unikite. So if you have it at home or you know. You can buy it. Usually gemstones are not so expensive. Are you having emotional upsets? Are you able to swallow what's happening in your life? Balance yourself through self-nurturing activities. Watch your diet. Embrace your emotions. Imagine the food you eat provides all the nutrition necessary for a good health. So this is going to help you... You know, once you love yourself, your eating patterns are changing, you know, because when your emotions are out of balance, that's when you start eating out of balance. So under eating or overeating, and it's time to uh, keep your diet in check, eat so healthy and, you know, um, colorful, like what would you do if you love someone so much? How would you treat that person? And that's how you need to treat yourself. You know, that's how you have to be with yourself. And, you know, another great thing what's happening in March is that, you know, your Chiron has been in your fourth house of family. And in March, the sun is gathering with Chiron. So you have a huge opportunity to heal stuff within your family, to heal stuff within your ancestral line. And that will enhance your self-love because once you accept where you come from, you will have a more, um, you, you, you will have an easier life because once you start being annoyed with other people, it's usually something within you buried that you don't want to face, you know, something you don't like about yourself. So the sun will gather up with Chiron. And before that, in a third house, we have Venus, sun, and, you know, we have um, Neptune all together in Pisces in the third house. So it's time for creative communication, poetry, like many people think Capricorn can't be creative, definitely, with, with uh, Pisces in a third house, you have a very intuitive imagination, you can write, you can, 
you know, everything flowing with words, you're great at that. So Capricorn, you do have many creative talents. Anyone talking to you otherwise, that's completely not true. So it's really time to discover who are you, what are your talents, what are you capable of, and once you discovered, it's time to finally love yourself. You know, you don't ha you have different aspects. You don't have to be one thing, one goal. You can have three goals and spread that, you know, because you can have more talents. You don't have to have one. You know, you have to embrace every single molecule part of your body and you know, life will get so much easier. Relationships will get so much easier. So it all starts with yourself. And that's what I want to bring to you, Capricorn, for the year of 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you a million. And, you know, leave in the comments uh, your feelings, uh, what you've been dealing with. And I would love to hear from you. I always read all the comments. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel it would be great if you can support me so i can make more videos and uh, that i'm super excited about so yeah it's time to embrace who you are capricorn and then everyone else will start loving you so much more than you think you deserve because you do <laughs> bye bye capricorn mm -hmm.